Let's first get you the breaking news that's just coming in at 10 a.m. Prime Minister Modi has invited Sonia Gandhi and Manmohan Singh for tea today evening. This is apparently to discuss the GST bill. Remember, it's day two of the winter session of the parliament. Very crucial for the government to get these bills passed in this session, which is a, uh, going to be about a month-long session. And in that respect, Prime Minister Modi has uh, sought to reach out to the opposition, particularly inviting Sonia Gandhi and Manmohan Singh for tea today evening. All right. In fact, on day one as well, we saw that the Prime Minister were, uh, ha did have a bit of a reconciliatory tone as far as uh, uh, the government's attitude towards opposition is concerned. And in that respect only, uh, perhaps this invite has been extended to Sonia Gandhi, who was leading the opposition's charge on day one of winter session of the parliament, particularly targeting the NDA government uh, on the principles of the constitution. And uh, then, of course, the debate that, uh, that, that started with Rajnath Singh's comments on uh, the usage of the word secular in preamble. Uh, perhaps sensing the tone of the opposition on day one, this effort has been made by the Prime Minister to invite Sonia Gandhi and Manmohan Singh today for evening. Let me cut across live to Vijay Chowk, where Padmaja Joshi is joining us from. Padmaja, uh, Prime Minister extending uh, an invitation of tea today evening to Sonia Gandhi and Manmohan Singh. Another effort, perhaps from the government side, to really make sure that winter session of the parliament is perhaps, uh, you know, is going to be more fruitful than what we've seen in the rest of the year. That's right, and it's not lost on the government that perhaps yesterday uh, what uh, the Home Minister Rajnath Singh said has raised the hackles of uh, the opposition, in particular the Congress. That was quite apparent yesterday in the House itself, the kind of responses that you got from the Congress President Sonia Gandhi and subsequently from Malikarjun Karge. So while on the one hand you'll have the BJP not compromising on its basic principle that the charge of uh, intolerance, rising intolerance, encouraging divisive elements against the government is unfair. These are trumped up charges. It's a manufactured debate. On the the other hand, they're going to continue to try and extend an olive branch to the opposition as well, because at the end of the day, the government is quite convinced that they need to be more conciliatory in their approach to try and reach out to the opposition. So